I use this for like EDC, but you can use it for products, so let's kind of talk about it. Hey, what's going on everyone? Hope you're doing alright. My name is Matt, and this is Dwyer Creatives, and today we're talking about flat lay photography, or that kind of stylized photography that's usually on a flat surface. Now, when I first started to try to do this style of photography, I kind of just found a place I like, added a few little things, and then my main item in there, and kind of just took a photo. But over time I realized that you really kind of have to stylize it and you're not just taking a photo, you're making a photo. So that's what we're kind of going to go over here. I'm just going to go over the real basics of what I look for. Now it is 2 minute Tuesday so let's put 2 minutes on that clock and get this started. Now the first thing that you're going to need is a camera. You can use your phone, you can use a digital camera, you can use whatever you have around that will take a photo. And for me, finding the right place to do this is definitely going to be key. Now, the reason I say that is a lot of times when I'm looking at surfaces, I'm looking at how reflective that material is. A lot of times I'm going to go ahead and use my desk. So I like having a mat down that kind of absorbs the light and doesn't reflect that back. Now, when you're trying to figure out your layout, you really want to think about what your theme is, what you're trying to say or convey or the story that you're trying to get through that photo. For me, a lot of this stuff is going to be EDC, which is everyday carry items like maybe, hey, this is my pocket dump of the day, but I want to focus it around this item. And my theme for this is going to be EDC orange items. So let's get into it. Right here, you can see I found a bunch of different orange items that I might use for EDC. So I kind of want to find like my staple item that is going to be the main focus around it. And I think I'm going to use this patch right here. Just don't quit, just do it, right? So this is gonna be my centralized item and I'm looking for items that I can kind of compose around it or leads your eye to this for a photo. Now I brought in a bunch of different EDC items like I have more patches, battery case, flashlight. I have a lighter here, knife those. Now I did grab this maybe just to kind of break it up i don't think i'm going to use that little funko pop highlighter and then i have items like this solid state hard drive right but it has a little orange accent to it and it's going to be the same thing with like maybe these pouches are going to be something that i want to use it's kind of just trying to feel it out get a lay for it two other things before you go into this right so you kind of have uh, different items that you wanted to include to help tell this story. Something that you really need to remember is you need to have pretty good light. So I'm using my Zhiyun CX100 light, which is above to act as like, a, I guess, a fill-in. I'm using this newer RGB bar that I have just in case I need to kind of help move some of those shadows or minimize them. So I do have this that I can use. Now, the other thing that you have to think about besides lighting is where are you kind of framing it up? So I'm using my desk gray kind of felt mat that I use for my mouse pad as a background. I'm gonna be shooting it portrait style, kind of like this. And when you take your photo, you just wanna make sure that you have enough room to take it downward. Ideally, maybe you have a rig that would be above it so that you could just keep taking photos moving things around trying to frame it and i know that i'm going to blow past two minutes so don't even worry about that When you're doing this you don't want to shoot wide open so i'm going to go down to f11 right here we're going to see how this looks so there you go i'm just going to drop a few photos that i like from this let me know what you think or if you have any other questions and comments leave that in the comment section too now i'm just going to do a really quick recap of all this so one make sure that you have a relatively flat surface try to get things that aren't as reflective unless you're looking for that me personally i'm not so i'm looking for like matte color surfaces things that aren't laminated don't have like clear coats that would reflect back next thing is to make sure that you have adequate lighting i use usually two lights maybe three or four depending on if i need to fill in certain areas to hide shadows and the last thing is going to be the biggest thing is make sure that you have things that are relatively coherent with what you're doing. Think of it as a story like, hey, this is your main character. What will come in and help support that? What will help me create a better photo? Adding too much stuff kind of can detract to it. Adding not enough stuff. Maybe you wanted to do only a certain color series like I did. If you have a certain product, what kind of goes with that lifestyle for that product? I'm just going to wrap things up right here. So as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.